guys, it's Di from Bags for Bubbles, and I thought I would do a quick look at my purse cabinet. So I don't know if I've ever done that since I got into this house. I don't really ever feel like I've been able to move in 100% just because I've had to be focusing on so many other things. But we're going to take a quick look at the purses that I have in my purse cabinet. And I do have some secondary storage where like all my Balenciaga bags are and some things hanging up in the closet. So maybe I'll sneak peek that at the end. But I'm going to do some updated videos on the bags I have left, so this would be kind of a sneak peek of that. And there is some glare, so I'll open up these cabinets. But this is the same cabinet that I had at the last house, and we have moved. We now live in Michigan, in case you didn't know that. So this is a slightly different room. The room is a lot bigger, so um, I've kind of had an interesting time like figuring out how to arrange this space. It's like our office now. And then I also do a lot of my filming over here on this side. So of the I room. do a lot of my sit down filming over on this side of the room. But then this is just kind of like extra storage basically. And I had this purse sitting down at the bottom just because it was sitting over there in the chair. So I figured set it in front of the purse cabinet. But I'm just now feeling like I'm getting to a spot where I can feel like I can tackle this room and figure out how I want to arrange it and all that sort of thing. So I thought I'd give you guys a look at what's in this cabinet and we'll see what changes um, as I start working more on this room. So it's got all the basic elements the room does. I guess we'll do a sneak peek room thing. It's got all the basic elements my lighting um, as like the last room did. The room is just a lot larger and it's like a rectangle so I've had a kind of a difficult time configuring it. Um, but it does have a walk-in closet so it's got good storage space. So I like to keep all of my smaller stuff up here on top. I still have all of my Rebecca Mingoff morning after clutches and morning after minis. Um, I actually get asked that a lot on the older videos and I do actually still have all those. In fact, I'm using my turquoise one right now and the gray one's out of here, you can see. So I keep like a lot of my more small clutch stuff up here at the top. And historically, I've always kept like my accessories down the bottom, but this is actually a mess. I didn't clean anything before doing this, by the way. I just walked in here and was like, hey, I'll film my purse cabinet. Historically, I've kept all my accessories down the bottom, but those have all gotten stuck up there. And usually I arrange them so that there is a morning after clutch sitting in front of them. Um, on this shelf, I have my Monty with some accessories stowed away down inside. I have this little gem, which I like. It's sitting in the front. And there's actually a Tory Birch bag sitting behind it. Um, I have my Umprom bag, which I still like this one. And my other Dooney bag, which I use when we go to the theme parks. My poor little Palamro is stuffed in there right now. So I need to do some reconfiguring. I guess we can call this a before video. I've got my Alma and my Verini satchel there, there on that shelf and it fits them kind of perfectly height wise. And then just two of my smushier older bags, the Marc Jacobs bag, and then also this Rebecca Minkoff morning after satchel um, sitting there. So I kind of keep these for like nostalgia's sake because this was like the Lorelei bag if you guys know what I'm talking about. So we'll see if that one fits in there. So anyhow, you can tell I'm running out of real estate in this, and so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do long term. I've got like my Pandora bracelet stuff down here and some different accessories. Oh, a Shaw thing I don't think I've ever used um, down there. So I'm kind of running out of real estate, and I'm really trying to figure out what I'm gonna do long term. But for, um, you know, it's time, this cabinet has worked out really great. And I have light that I could display my bags and see them behind the glass cabinets and I pretty much kept them protected from dust and light. Generally, I keep the curtains closed, always in my office and that sort of thing. So this cabinet has worked out really well. If you're um, wanting to get information about the cabinet, I'm not sure if they still make these, but I got it from Home Decorators. It was around $500 and I think it did come in other colors, like a white and like a wood grain. Um, I went with the black. If I had it all over to do again, I don't know if I would do the black. Um, I got the black because I was trying to match that stuff from Pier 1. Like the mirrored stuff. Sorry if I'm blinding with the lights. Um, but I feel like now, you know, my taste is kind of going a slightly different direction. So um, that's what I'm going to figure out decorating this room. is kind of one of my things I want to tackle towards the end of the summer. But this is what is in my purse cabinet right now. And, um, yeah. So, this is kind of a general update. I'm going to have a video coming up showing the Balenciaga bags that I still have. Because someone was asking about that as well. Let me know if you have any video requests down in the comment section below. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.